Today's lesson is all about introducing ecology. Next time you find yourself in the great outdoors, ask yourself these questions. What do you see around you? How does this place look different from your home? Why do the mountains look different from where you live? All around you, we are seeing the building blocks of life. I like to call this the laws of nature. Or land, air, water, and sunlight. These laws help to create different ecosystems. Ecosystems are a place where living and non-living things interact. They are a complex balance of the laws. We study ecosystems and the laws to keep the earth healthy and sustainable. Not only is the earth beautiful, but it also provides us with everything we need to survive. So what is ecology? Ecology is the study of the relationship between living and non-living things. In ecology, we call living things biotic. This includes the plants, animals, fungi, and even the bacteria. Non-living things are called abiotic. What else can we call them? The laws, or land, air, water, and sunlight. There are different relationships occurring between living things in all ecosystems. We call these relationships between two living things symbiosis. The different types of relationships within symbiosis are mutualism, parasitism, and commensalism. Mutualism is when both organisms benefit from the relationship. There are many examples of mutualism all around us. One of the most important examples for us is the pollination of plants and flowers by bees. Bees will feed off of the pollen and nectar and will get some pollen on their hairy bodies in the process. When they land in the next flower to feed, some of the pollen will rub off and be distributed on it. This allows the plants to reproduce. Parasitism is when one organism benefits while the other is harmed. In some ecosystems, we see this through mistletoe. You might think of mistletoe as just a fun Christmas decoration, but it is in fact a parasite on the trees. When mistletoe grows on oaks and pines, it is taking away its nutrients and water. This often leads to the tree eventually dying from not getting enough of what it needs. Commensalism is when one organism benefits while the other is unaffected. A good example of this is when a tree sheds its twigs and birds gather them to build their nest in the tree. The tree is not harmed and the birds are able to build their homes. So let's review what we've learned. First, ecology is the study of the relationship between living and non-living things. Ecosystems are where living and non-living things interact. They are a complex balance of the laws of nature, or land, air, water, and sunlight. In ecology, biotic are living things, and abiotic are non-living things. Second, the relationships between two living things is called symbiosis. There are three main types of these relationships, mutualism, parasitism, and commensalism. Mutualism is when both organisms benefit from the relationship. Parasitism is when one organism benefits while the other is harmed. And commensalism is when one organism benefits while the other is unaffected. Thank you for joining me for this introduction to ecology. One of the most important takeaways from ecology is that we are all connected from the smallest creatures all the way to us humans. If bees weren't around to pollinate our plants, the impact on our food supply would be devastating. Studies have found that on average, one in every three bites of food that we consume around the world depends on these pollinators, or bees in particular. Bountiful crops and harvests would completely disappear without bees and take with it most of our favorite foods. 
This is why it's so important to appreciate and care for everything around us. Be well, my friends, and always remember that you are awesome. Subscribe to my channel to stay updated, and a like is always appreciated. We'll see you next time at Sam's Outdoor Science for Kids.